I'm Justin Nichols. Uh, I own Nichols Paint and Fab. I started this thing a long time ago with my old man. We started building hot rods. I don't even remember how old I was, but you know, right out of the stroller, I was holding a grinder. So it's been a cool experience. It's been a long ass road. I went through a lot, you know. I knew this business is what I wanted and I made it happen. And now there's a big team and I couldn't be happier with what we put out. You know, like I said, it's been a long road. You know, I, I lost house, car a long time ago just to be where I'm at now. It's still not easy. It's just bigger checks and a lot more headache, but I don't care. It's, it's what we love, it's what I love. So it's what we're doing. As far as my skill set goes, I just been learning over the years and uh, doing it on my own, messing a lot of stuff up, being able to fix it. That's the best way to learn is messing something up and fix it, whether it be metalwork, paint, bodywork, whatever. You'll learn a lesson really quick when you mess something up. But, you know, over the years, I've been with a lot of people that have been in the industry forever. So whether it be learning metal fab, uh, mechanical, um, anything like that, that's just, I absorbed everything that I could and knowing that my goal in the future was to own a shop and be able to build motorcycle, car, truck, you know, from scratch and have it roll out the door and be proud of it. So. Over the years, I've just learned what I could. I never went to college and just learned what I could from anybody that was willing to show me. Years ago, what really got me going was painting. You know, I still enjoy it. Um, unfortunately, I've gotten a lot fatter over the years, so it's hard to crawl around on the ground, you know, move around like I need to. I'm, I still do it, I'm still capable of it, but man, I can't walk for like two days after I'm done. So my passion over the years has developed into metal fab, uh, shaping, forming, all that stuff. I just like to beat on metal, uh, put cool designs in it. Um, Megan's kind of jumped in there with me and learned a ton over the last few years. I mean, she's really good. And I'd say that's what my passion is, the metal work, changing stuff, you know, like this car behind me. You know, I just start sketching and come up with stuff. We shorten the car, chop the top. I mean, there's just so many subtle things that I try to hide and make people think of what's going on. And that's probably my, my proudest thing is to go to a show and have people be like, hmm, it's cool, but what do they do? So over the years we've grown into, you know, what we are right now. Uh, like I said before, it hasn't been easy, but just uh, in the last few years, we've went through a few shops and just had to get bigger and bigger and we're actually outgrown this shop that we're in now. So I'm in the middle of remodeling and adding on and doing all that fun stuff. But uh, the TV show, uh, if, I, if you wanna listen to me talk about it, I guess. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a great thing, don't get me wrong, super grateful for it. Um, we just decided to do our own thing and we're gonna show what we wanna show and show the right stuff and not blur any like banners out because these banners on the wall are companies that have supported us years before the TV show and to be monitored by someone saying you can't do this you can't show that and I, I don't I don't dig that so uh, we're gonna continue to show support for the companies that have helped us out over the years before the show even started like I said so um, like I said the show's been great um, we're just gonna do our own thing and on our own time frame a lot of those builds were, you know, a few weeks and you know how Facebook is. Everybody's got to <laughs> pipe up and make a comment whether you want to read it or not. It's there. Um, there's short deadlines on TV stuff and you still have to go back after the TV show and do the car because there's not enough time in two to five weeks or whatever to build a complete car and make it ready to go to the customer. So. Uh, super grateful for the opportunity we had. Uh, it's time to move on and do our own thing. And we've got a lot of quality builds. We've got a Riddler build in here um, and just years worth of work. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna share all that stuff with you. Uh, we're gonna show you some how to's, um, whether it be metal, paint, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna, we're, we're there for you now. We appreciate your support that you gave us during the show, whether it was watching, uh, giving us awesome ratings. Um, 
and everybody wants more. We get emails every day of people wanting more content and this and that, so we can't wait around on anybody. Uh, Jeremy stepped in and we're gonna, we're just gonna show you the real shit. <laughs>